Hi there, I'm Spence with the count teams. We're in Salt Lake City and we help people do accounting and uh, help them with taxes. And we have a lot of small businesses that bring just piles of records in and are lost and we help get them through that problem. Today I'm talking to you about the default risk ratio. For a small business, this is important because a banker will look at this if he's lending you money um, to see how much risk he has in uh, what he has to offer. Also, if you're investing money and you're buying, for example, bonds from a company, the, you should look at that compared to a zero risk ratio. Now, the only zero risk people consider in this country is uh, <clears throat> notes from the federal government. They're considered zero risk. And if they're going for 4% and you'll have a large company that's selling bonds at 8%, then their ratio would be 4 over 8 or 50%. But if they're not such a solid company and they're offering 16%, then in that case, you've got four over 16 and it's a lot harder ratio. They offer more money, but there's a lot more risk because they have to do it that way. If you're worrying about how the money's at risk and you're not worried about how much money you make, then this default ratio would be important. 